I'd be great. Okay. What do you think? Would you have sex? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I'm doing this man. It's... If that happened? Ugh, man. <laughs> This happened just now with a streamer I watch. What do you mean, man? Are you talking about me or I don't know, man? You know, last night I was, uh, I was, I was very confident that we're gonna get, you know, Noah Amon. But for some reason, uh, you know, I cannot believe this man. It was, you know, I was very, very secure in that we have this. But uh, it was bad, man, last night. Right? So we were playing pool. We were in, in civic events. We were... Uh, how do I say this? Haruka was trying to be a comedian. They're like, what? <laughs> Shit. So let's see how many missions we did. Oh my god, look at this. The Dance Battle st Story 6. The Super Story is complete. The Work Missions, Tier 2 1. Oh man, this is... Oh my god. You know, the Super Stories for Haruka are complete. Anyway, so let's go. Hi. I was I was feeling a little disappointed, you know, about Jacob's Five last night. Because there is no way that I'm gonna start Hi. again, man. No. I can't. It's a long gameplay. So I said I have two choices. I can start again since the beginning or I just try to play the job missions now
Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, you say bye. Well, man, uh, maybe I, sh I should say or all right. <laughs> oh, my God, we still have like a ten. Oh, a lot of missions, oh god. <laughs> anyway. Well, I was thinking that maybe on next I'm gonna play something... Uh, I have in mind to play again Dino Crisis. Hi. Because, you know, when you have... When you play this game, and you actually end it very well, understand you know the how to play it the codes everything i have you know just once i might you know if i don't play it i'm gonna forget it you know it's like when i was playing resident evil i stopped playing and then forgot Actually, I saw a guy playing Resident Evil, you know, the whole franchise, Resident 1, 2, 3 remakes, 4, 7, The Village, God, Ver God Veronica, uh, what was the other? Resident Evil 5. And there is no way that I, you know, I can acknowledge it's gonna be in my mind, man. You know, I think some people really have talent for this. It's like a... You can play something very good at it, you know. All the versions, you know, all the sequels. Because that requires a lot of timing. Like a, I saw this guy playing Resident Evil. Then he switched. You know, I saw his video on YouTube. Then I advanced the video. He was playing Resident Evil 2. World record again. Then he played Resident Evil 3. World record again. Then he plays Resident Evil 4. Again, world record. Then he played Resident Evil 5. World record again, oh my god, then Resident Evil 7 And then the last one, the build is like what? So you play the entire Resident Evil franchise? And you still have some energy for keep playing? Like what the hell man? The video I remember is about... And the video says it's around 11 hours? And I was thinking, so... 11 hours man if you're streaming or just making some video like that, like, what the hell, man? It's like, a, how many hours do we need for play the entire uh, Yakuza franchise, Sea Rocky, Wami One, my favorites, actually? Because if I wanted to play all the Yakuza, uh, there is no way that I'm gonna play all the Yakuza because some of them I don't feel like really connected with the storyline. <clears throat> Alright.
Okay, uh, how many missions we did? I don't know. Oof. Hi. You know, all the guys that I found, they said that for unlock Noah Amon, uh, we need to play the super stories. Yeah, but I did it. All the super stories are complete. You have no idea how much time I use, you know, for, I don't know, finding some clues. Because in Sotenbori, we're supposed to find some guy with some glasses, and he must uh, to give us give us some some leather or something. Maybe the PC version is very different from the console, you know. Kiss Kiss is a fashion magazine aimed at preteens and teens. The interviewer will be Kotani San. She's an old unmarried career woman. She's nice enough, but is very particular about professionalism. Try to give responses that the readers will be able to relate to. Remember, if you want to be a popular idol, you have to appeal to the young female audience as well. Alright. So basically, we need to be cool and nice. Mm, I'm nice, but I'm not gonna force myself to put in some kind of mood, you know? Shit. Okay, I imagine your manager has already explained everything to you. You're aware of what today's interview is about? Life as an idol, the Princess League? Uh, I don't know. Oh shit. Oh sorry, I made a mistake. Now, onto the questions. Remember, these are middle school and high school aged girls like you. Okay, here we go. The first question is from Mina Chan in Tokyo. She's a middle school student. She writes, My friend and I both like the same boy. What would you do if you were in my shoes? <laughs> I would go after the boy myself. Maybe, but I still couldn't betray my friend. That just wouldn't be me. I see, but if you keep choosing friendship over romance, you might miss your chance to ever get married at all, like I did. But you're still young, Kotani-san, you have plenty of time. Well, aren't you sweet? I think I might be becoming a new fan of yours. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Anyway, here's the next question. It's from Iri Chan. My boyfriend is shy. We've been going out for six months, but we still never kissed. Some of my friends have gone further in some less time. What do I do? You should kiss him, you should keep waiting, you should try to set the mood. You should be the one to kiss him. If he's shy, there is no telling how long you have to wait before he does. Oh my, you're quite bold, aren't you, Haruka Chuan? I just believe that if you want something to happen, sometimes the best thing you do is make it happen yourself. Okay. But doesn't it take a lot of courage for a girl to make the first move? Maybe. But sometimes a girl just needs to be brave. That's a pretty bracing thing for an idol to say. I imagine the reaction will be mixed, but I try to give it a favorable slant. Alright, here's the last question. It's a pretty serious one. It's from Apple Chan. My friend has been seeing her teacher who is married with children. Oh God. I keep telling her she should break it off with him, but she just won't listen. My friend has been seeing her teacher. She's married with children. I keep telling her she should break it off with him, but she, she just won't listen. Oh my god. Keep telling her to stop being single and your relationship with this friend. 
try to reason with the teacher. This one. Okay. The mission was done. Well, I'm ready for something else. What is this? <sighs> so, how many missions we still have? Uh, too many, yeah. Uh, give me a second. Anyway, okay, we still have some. We're very close. I don't want to do this, you know, but we have to. <laughs> Hello, I'm Karube from, from TV Smash. Nice to meet you. Okay, the questions please, Dina Chair. Oh shit. About this agency? No way. Why would. Okay. I'm sorry. Well, never mind. I remember now. Princess Lee. Okay, yeah, Princess Lee. I mean, it must be great for a no telling like you. You can get your face on TV, even without much proven experience. Plus, the station can produce a profitable TV show without having to pay its talent very much. A win-win. Get wild. Yes, Hanuka is a hot AF talent. Yeah, man. Honestly, man, uh, if you were watching this more early, man, uh, I was doing some missions when the, the, you know, there was a girl, and this girl was saying that she likes girls. She's like, so you are a lesbian. And we were playing some kind of game. And every time, that I hit a match, that I hit a score, she, I'm not gonna say she was moaning or something, but that was hard, man. like, oh my god, what kind of game is this, because for one moment, I saw that I was watching poor or something, like, what the hell, man, what is this, <laughs> so, and now I see, you know, the job missions for Haruka, they are not actually boring, they are interesting, in a in a funny way, in a you know hard way, like oh my god! For one moment, I thought I was watching something hard, you know. Jesus man. Okay. So taking all that in, into consideration, is the Princess League system really all that great? Uh, it's a great chance. This one. And I could tell that you've been through some pretty grueling training. I guess, if the system produces performers like you, it must have some merit. Well, moving on, there is another problem I see with the Princess League system. Performances are rated by a studio, audience, audience model. That's a pretty big criterion, don't you think? Can singing and dancing really be evaluated with a numerical score? Uh, I think the scoring system is fair, I don't really pay attention to the scores. Uh, okay. Mm. So, that brings us to my last question. Now, to tell you the truth, I used to be a huge fan of a certain idol named Mirai Park. Oh, that's right. And I know you were her favorite. So, let me ask you this. Do you believe you will surpass her one day? I believe I already surpassed her. I'm going to try my hardest. I don't think... 
uh, yeah, this one. Mm. Anyways, that concludes our interview. Because remember, the interviews, I need to be nice and polite. So if I say that I am going to surpass Mirai Park, maybe Haruka is going to sound cocky, you know? And, you know, I don't want to sound like someone like that. Okay. How many wishes we have? Eight. <laughs> My god. Almost three hours. Again. So, if you were a girl, man. If you were a girl. Imagine tomorrow you wake up with another body. A female. So. Uh, what? What would it be some things that you want to try in society? With people around you and especially with friends look at this it's like a, i heard this answer before if i was a female i wanted to test how a girl's a girl feels like when she's listening you know some flirting especially some dirty you know something like that Because if you're a guy, if you like to speak in some ways, between friends is cool. But if we are hearing, if you are the opposite sex, you know, we're going to hear that every day. Imagine you're a woman walking and someone said, you look like this. I want to make you this. We're going to go this. I'm going to do this. You know, it's like a, a that kind of... Language is rude and it's not good, especially. Why not? Because basically, here, you know, this is a really interesting video game. Okay, another interview. The interview is about idol business. Okay, became an idol. Hi. Okay, first question. Okay, do you have any tips for us or how to get notized like you did? Just ask. Uh, I don't know. Right, but I suppose it might be alright if you had a friend with you. Okay, alright, moving on. What kind of. What kind of things does a TV show assistant do? I held signs and posters towards the camera. I basically just stood there and said nothing. It seemed as you were already an idol. Didn't you find that sort of thing a little humiliating? Uh, okay, I understood. I had to be that way at first. I let the humiliation fool me. What the fuck? You know, can you imagine Haruka said that he was ha she was happy to be humiliated, you know, for by someone else? So even idols have to toil and obscurity before that they get better work. That might be hard to hack for a lot of young people these days. Okay. Next question. Regrets. Uh, the more famous you become, the harder it is to just be a regular girl, right? You're probably discouraged from having romantic relationships and people must recognize you wherever you go. With these negative side effects, would you still recommend trying to become famous to our readers? You have to know what you're getting into. You can worry about that after you get famous. Okay. I believe you have to know what you're getting yourself into ahead of time. If you want to be famous. Okay. Alright, that's the end, of course. To be honest, the interview wasn't as exciting as I hoped, but I think you're giving me enough to work with. Really? So people judge. Oh shit, man.
うまくいったよねあ、uh, those missions reminds me、uh, when we were playing with Majima in Yakuza Zero do, do you remember those questions with the girls and the club the Mercury the Mars you know defeating coward clubs fighting with the hostess、uh, fighting with the host、uh, getting new combos this crazy lady aiming Majima and talking about money and how powerful money is like what the hell man <clears throat> Okay, look at this sensual gentleman interview. What the fuck, man? Okay, this in this、uh, thing is about what? Sensual gentleman is a men's magazine that covers racy topics. <clears throat> Most of the readers are men in their thirties and forties. Magazines like this are probably their only source of information and idols. I'd be terrific if you could win this segment, oh my god. So a magazine for men. <coughs> What would be the most <coughs> inappropriate question that someone can make, you know, a teenager? The topic of the interview is advice for middle aged men. Advice for middle aged men. And、um, how to be popular with younger women. Okay. So today we learned something about Jacosa 5. It, it wasn't boring after all. No, it's not. Because I thought if I play the job missions, it's gonna be boring, not interesting, I'm gonna just fall asleep, you know? How to be popular with young women? How to flirt? Oh my god. <laughs> I wanna get your definition. When you think of a middle aged man, how about how old is he? Uh, I think this one. I would say anywhere between 35 and 50 is middle aged. Oh, yeah, so you think a guy in, in his early 30s is still young? Yes, I do. Well, with a liberal view like that and men's ages, I think this interview is gonna, is go, is gonna go great. Okay, next question. Late at night, you say? Yeah, well, Older men work during the daytime. Besides, guys might get some dirty looks if they're out with a younger woman during the day. And they're adults, after all. So, of course, they wanna go as far as they can, if possible. I see. So, what destination would make you wanna say yes to a date? A private room in a restaurant, a private karaoke room, an observation deck with a beautiful night view. Uh, I don't know actually. Oh shit. <laughs> That's cool. A lot of our readers would be real disappointed. You could at least give them an ounce of hope. Okay. This is the last question. What the heck? I'd be great. Okay. What do you think? Would you have sex? What the fuck? <laughs> What? Would you have sex with a middle aged man? Okay, this question is wild and crazy. No comment. <laughs> If I was in love with him. Oh my god. I'm not really sure, but I think maybe if I was in love with him. Seriously? Whoa, boy, am I glad I asked. <laughs> Why always? <laughs> you know, as a man, you know, sometimes we like to ask, you know, direct questions no matter how hard or dirty those questions can be. 
Some people might call me perp, but it's okay, you know, but in a game, are you crazy? Well, that's just about wraps it up. I know you're an idol, so there is only so much you can say. I guess you did a pretty decent job. <laughs> I was just about to say no comment. Look at this, Yamaro's memo. They might try to talk to set up and put you down, so watch out for that kind of thing. The interviewer will be Masuda-san. He refers to himself as creepy but in a cute way. The interview will be about your relationships with friends. Okay. This is gonna be hot. Oh my god. Why I feel this topic is gonna be way too crazy. Hello, I'm Masuda from Gossip Girls. You're much more reserved than I expected. After seeing you on TV, I thought you'd be more of a charismatic aura. Anyways, let's get on with uh, being harassed by this set. <laughs> Look at that, being harassed, oh my god. Well, and uh, on to the good stuff. First off, let me ask you about the Princess League. You've been pretty much crushing the competition, haven't you? Even to the ant rained eye like mine, it's easy to see your head and shoulders above the rest. Given your superior talent, what do you think of all those girls who just aren't on your level? That's a loaded question. They aren't taking this work seriously. I don't think I'm better than anyone else. Yeah. Because I'm pretending to be nice. You know? <laughs> it's kinda hard to tell, you know, I am pretending to be nice. Now, let's talk about this set. Okay. Hi. Uh, they used to belong to Dyna Chair, you know? But then they decided to jump ship from for Osaka talent. Must leave a bad taste in your mouth, wouldn't you say? So, in light of all that, what do you think about T set being called the number one idols in Osaka right now? It doesn't really bother me. I don't think that will be true for long. I have no objection. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think that'll be true for long. I believe you have to follow a certain code of ethics in order to maintain the trust of your fans. Fair point, but Dyna Chair <clears throat> never did manage to make to make this set as popular as they've gotten with Osaka Talent. Now, haruko -chan, I don't think even you can deny that Osaka Talent has done a fine job of selling this set. It isn't oh, it isn't at all surprising that Dyna Chair would be be there about that. I guess it's really this said that's to blame. Their success is bound to earn resentment from those below them. The idol business sure is rough. Yes. You don't know. A manager of yours named Hori grabbed one of the T-Set girl's arms and screamed at her. You were apparently right there when it happened. With rumors like this flying around, People are staring to say Dynature is using you as a weapon of vengeance against Osaka talent. Oh my god. Were you aware of this growing sentiment? Uh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> that's ridiculous. Dynature isn't using me as a weapon or otherwise, and I really don't have anything else to say about it. Are you sure you want to take that tone with me? It might affect what I write, you know? I believe you're the one who is setting down tone. I don't know how how else to answer. You're a lot tougher than you look. One might even say you're downright stubborn at times. Well, I don't think I used that question after all. I'm sorry if I was rude. Okay, well, okay, that was the ending. Okay, <laughs> I guess become an idol is hard after all. That's great.